Each airport in the national airspace system has unique and distinct characteristics, which can sometimes lead pilots to use the wrong surface in taxi, takeoff, or landing operations. Let's take a look at some of these tricky areas from the flight deck. Joplin Regional is a medium-sized multi-use airport located north of the city of Joplin, Missouri. The airport has its own Class Delta airspace when the tower is open. Pilots should check the appropriate chart supplement for the tower's hours of operation. The traffic is made up of some air carrier operations, but is primarily corporate and general aviation. The runway configuration consists of two intersecting runways labeled 1331 and 1836. There are full-length taxiways alongside both runways. The air carrier terminal is located north of the runway intersection, while all other facilities and services are located to the southwest. Hotspot number one concerns the runway hold short line location for runway 13. At many airports, the size of the protected areas of the runway, such as the runway safety area, has necessitated the movement of the hold short lines farther from the runway center line than might be expected. This case is true at Joplin. While taxiing, pilots should continually scan outside the aircraft for surface markings, above ground signage, and runway guard lights. Hotspot number two denotes the same location of two separate issues. Aircraft taxiing for runway 13 and cleared runway 13 taxi via Delta Echo have missed the turn onto Echo and ended up on runway 1331. The second issue at this location centers around aircraft taxiing north or south on Delta and crossing runway 1331 without a clearance. Complete understanding of any taxi clearance, including route, turns, and hold short instructions before moving the aircraft will go a long way in mitigating these types of issues. Remember, you must have an ATC clearance to cross any runway, active or not. Hotspot 3 concerns an issue with aircraft taxiing to runway 31 via Taxiway Charlie and failing to hold short at the proper location, resulting in a runway incursion. Pilots taxiing to runway 31 via Taxiway Charlie often confuse the runway 31 hold short line for an ILS hold position marking. However, there is no ILS for runway 31. The confusion concerning this hold short location is likely due to the distance that the hold short bar is located from the runway itself, and the fact that it is located prior to the left turn leading Taxiway Charlie to the runway. This is necessary due to the displaced threshold on runway 31, and the requirement to have aircraft outside of the object-free area. As always, maintaining a consistent visual scan outside of the aircraft for markings and signage will help in mitigating this sort of error. There are a few more issues not listed as hotspots that pilots need to be aware of when flying to Joplin Regional. The tower does not have radar surveillance capability. This makes precise and accurate position reports essential when contacting the tower. Pilots should be cautioned that the airport beacon is easier to see when approaching from the west. This next issue is vitally important if utilizing the airport outside of tower operating hours. Due to terrain issues, there is a slight hump in the middle of both runways. This makes it impossible for aircraft to see the other end of each runway when lining up to take off. Proper use and monitoring of the common traffic advisory frequency is essential in avoiding serious incidents when the tower is not in operation. Some pilots have also reported that the airport beacon is difficult to locate at night. The airport is currently looking for ways to mitigate this issue. If you are ever in doubt about any clearance or instruction, the easiest answer is ask the tower. They are there to help and would rather spend a few extra transmissions ensuring clarity and understanding. Being aware of the hotspots at Joplin will help pilots make better decisions and along with the air traffic control tower, keep the operation safe and efficient. We hope this short video helps you prepare for your trip to the Joplin Regional Airport. It's always better to know before you go.